What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Thursday to you guys. Now, to those of you who keep up with the community page, you know that I left Florida uh, yesterday around 8.30 in the morning, and I arrived in Baltimore somewhere around 10.30ish, quarter to 11. 11. Uh, it was a long day out on the road, about 14 hours, but... I did make it to Baltimore safe and I was exhausted. I slept really, really well last night, but I am not in Baltimore right now. I decided this morning that I was gonna come back to PA so that I can take care of some things. Um, and if you have not noticed yet, I have my replacement eyeglasses on. That was one of the things that I wanted to come back to PA and uh, take care of. I have now taken care of everything that I came back to PA to take care of, and I'm heading back to Baltimore uh, later on tonight, probably around 10 o'clock I will leave because I don't like dealing with that traffic. The traffic going from Pennsylvania to Maryland can be unpredictable at times, especially at night when you don't know if they're working on the roads and lanes are closed or whatnot. So I like to leave and head down um, at night. Um, I will be at, in Baltimore until either next Thursday or Friday. I'm thinking about Thursday because I'm going to have to come back here to PA and um, prep my van, my minivan for my uh, Canada trip. I do want to give you guys a quick update. I'm not going to say a lot about it, just, you know, just a little bit. Uh, just to let you guys know because I did mention this on the community page and that is my mother is uh, in the hospital She had a mild uh, heart attack um, She's doing uh, Better I would say she's doing better um, According to my sister um, so it's good that I have this time that I can um, hang down in Baltimore and check on my mother and make sure everything is, you know, she's feeling better before I take off to Canada. Now, I'm also going to cancel my first campground stay, which is supposed to be the day after I get my uh, kit installed in my van. I was supposed to leave Canada and go straight to a campground. Um, I'm gonna cancel that first one. And instead, I'm going to head back down to Baltimore and hang out for another week down there and continue to check on my mother and make sure that she's feeling better. And then, um, because I have a whole schedule, summer schedule of campgrounds, and I'll play it by ear from that point on. Um, but I do plan on going to my campgrounds, but I do also in between want to go down to Baltimore because I think I have about two or three weeks throughout the whole summer that is not scheduled yet for campgrounds and I think I'm gonna leave them unscheduled and spend that time down in Baltimore so that's <clears throat> that's the plan for that also what else I wanted to share with you guys oh I have a lot of packages <laughs> So I looked, kept back, went to the post office and uh, checked on my mail and I had all of these packages waiting for me. I have no idea what's in them. So we're gonna quickly open up all of these. Then I also have this big box here. And then I have this, oh, this is heavy too, this big box here. Thankfully I am, oh. Thankfully, I am at the park where I can dispose of these boxes <laughs> after I take uh, and look and see what's in them. So let's go ahead and do this right quick. And then I also want to fix me something to eat because it's around 2.30 in the afternoon, but I haven't eaten anything today. Yes, I did. Anthony, stop. I did. I ate a um, sausage and muffin, no egg, and I, I had a Diet Coke, a medium Diet Coke when I left Baltimore this morning around 8 o'clock. But that was about four or five hours ago. So I'm hungry again. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get into here. Let me see if I can move you guys back a little bit without tilting. Is that good? All right, yeah, that's excellent. 
So let's see what's in this box here first. <gasps> Someone sent me all of this butane. Wowzer, all of this butane is one, two, three, four, five, six of these butane cans. Okay, I would be so, so excited. And I am, I really am. <laughs> I'm buying a kit to go into my car. <laughs> which I bought a stove, which is propane. And my thought was that, cause you guys know I bought four of these before I went on my Lord trip back down south. So, and my, my intent was to use those outside at camping before I use my, uh, uh, my propane stove in the back. So now that I have all of these, oh my goodness, this is a lot of butane. Cause the stove that I bought for the kit is propane. So wowzer is all I can say is <laughs> wowzer. <laughs> this would have been so great if this was uh, propane <laughs> that I can use it with my new stove that I'm getting for the kitchen. but. Thank whomever sent me these. Um, I guess I will eventually get through them. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. This is a lot. <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to get through these. I won't even get through these this summer. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what's in this box here. No, I am I am thankful and grateful, but um, I did buy the kit, which, and they probably sent me this before I mentioned that, because uh, I just now mentioned recently that I'm getting the kit for the van and the stove. But thank you so much for for these. Oh, that's a lot of them. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we have in this box here. Oh my goodness, what is this? That was a, <laughs> what is this? This looks this is a this look like a fancy this look like a fancy frying pan here. Let me see. I just now put my old frying pan back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness it's like super super big wowzer wowzer look at this and it can I can use it on my induction cooktop <laughs> Look at this huge frying pan. This is huge. And it has the little thing on the bottom where I can use on my induction cooktop, which is great. So when I cook inside of the van, I can use this frying pan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is great. And look. I just now put this one back in here. <laughs> Goodbye, frying pan, with the handle all loose, with the discoloration all the way around. Can y'all believe this was a red frying pan when I started out with it? It was red. <laughs> I throw that right in the trash can there. Let me see. I don't know if I can get this. Okay. I'll get that with that fly. I swear. I swear, I brought one fly back 
from Florida with me. He right there. Where's my um, spray? Get that fly out of here. I'm telling you, I'ma get that fly out of here. I'ma get that fly out of here. That fly been getting on my nerves ever since I got back from the whole ride, the whole drive back to Baltimore. That fly was flying across my face. I'm not joking. Let's see what's in here. This is Badaya black garlic. Someone else sent me some of this as well. So this is the second one I have of this. I don't know how this is gonna smell. Okay, I can't smell nothing because it's sealed up. Okay, I have that. Oh my God, someone sent me a big frying pan. Oh, I know what this is. This is a dishcloth and dish tile set. Look at that. I'm gonna keep this just like this because I haven't decided what's the color scheme gonna be when I get my new uh, kit. Um, I do plan on changing it. I do like the gray though. I like the gray, but I'm, you know, hey. You know how when you get a new house, you wanna <laughs> you wanna change up stuff. <laughs> so I might get some new bedding. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Thank you, thank you. And it's not gonna be this color, because this color is <laughs> it's not one of my favorite colors though, but I'm just ooh. Cause y'all know I like I like the same color combination. Either this gray or the, the brown and kind of like a bluish mix in here that I had. Remember, that was my whole color scheme the last time. But I'm definitely going to use these because look. Look at the ones that Musette sent me. These things, these things, woo. They've they been going through it. I call, these, I call that a dirty clean. I just now washed these in the washing machine. <laughs> and look, that carry ain't no joke, boy. <laughs> They carry it. <laughs> so I might replace them, Musette, with the new ones. And this is the last one here. Oh, this is some rich garlic and herb. Oh my goodness. Look at the color in that. Campbell's Flavor Up Cooking Concentrate. Rich garlic and herb. I got that garlic and herb butter though, boy. Woo! I don't know if this gonna top that, boy, because that, that Kurgan's, I think it's Kurgan's, that got, I'm gonna show y'all because I'm about to cook. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for sending me things. Y'all too good to me, too good to me sending me all these things. I can't believe all this propane. I mean, butane. <laughs> Can y'all believe this? Oh my goodness. This is, that's a lot. Oh my, I can't get over it. <laughs> okay, the frying pan is from Lynette Harris and Angie Brown. Thank you, Lynette and Angie. I don't think anybody else left a note. All right, I'm gonna get rid of these boxes and then I'm going to start cooking me something to eat right quick. And that's gonna do it. Oh my goodness, I got one more. Oh my Lord, here's another one. All right, <laughs> whoever sent me this one. <laughs> Whoever sent me this, but I'm sorry, but this is a savory mushroom and herb. Y'all know I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> Y'all know I do not like mushrooms, so I'm definitely, 
I mean, I'm being honest here. I'm being honest. I, I, I'm not going to flavor up my food with mushrooms. <laughs> I thank whoever sent me this. I'm guessing it's the same person who sent me that one. But I, I, I don't like mushrooms. I, I, I don't. I don't. And I'm just being honest about it. <laughs> I don't eat mushrooms. <clears throat> All right, I folded up these boxes. Except this one. Ugh. Let me take this trash out. All right, guys, this is going to be a quick, quick, quick meal. And I'm using my super duper big frying pan. And I know it looks super big to y'all. Because <laughs> it looks super big to me. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> I'm just going to fix a. Let me raise this end up a little bit. Oh no, don't tell me this don't work on here. Oh my God, this don't work on here. No! I threw my fry pan away. I'm going to get my fry pan. <laughs> All right, guys, we got my old fry pan out the trash. <laughs> Gave it a little, little wipe down right quick. I can only use the new fry pan. I can only use the new fry pan on my, my um, outdoor cooktop. <laughs> I went and got that fry pan right out the trash can. <laughs> woo, woo, Lord, I, and there's a lot of people at the park too. There's a lot of people at the park. They probably, Anyway, <laughs> ah, oh my goodness. Okay, I got some salmon here. I cut it up and put it in here. Uh, they didn't have the skin off. I tried to take the skin off with it because I bought like a long piece of salmon and got three pieces out of it. I tried to take the skin off of one and I ended up chopping up so much of the meat on there. I said, forget it. I'm just using it with the skin on it. <laughs> Cause y'all know I prefer the skin off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna eat two of these cause these are little. Oh boy. I already did some lemon pepper seasoning on them. Okay, Anthony, what you doing here? That might be too many. That might be too much. That might be too much. Oh my goodness. I went and got my fry. <laughs> None of my drinks are cold. I'm gonna make some of this rice and cauliflower. Add some seasoned soy sauce and some fried rice seasoning. Oh my heavens. I didn't go somewhere else and cook. I would have to come all the way back down to the park 
and, and get my dad going on um, <laughs> fry pan out of the trash. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was like, oh Lord, I gave it a good little squirt with some vinegar and oil, uh, vinegar and water mixture. Nice little wipe down. Oh, and y'all should have heard me. I was talking crap about this frying pan as I was throwing it in the trash. Talking about how to handle loose and, and the discoloration and talking about trash and the uh, frying pan to you guys that carried on. And look, I had to go back and get the go frying pan out of trash. <laughs> I don't know why this don't work. This seemed like this would work. It has the right thing on the bottom. I don't know why it didn't work. Oh my goodness. I'm going to charge up both of my um, power stations before I head back to Baltimore because. Um, hopefully between the two of them, I should be able to go a week with my refrigerator and then I'll come back to PA those two days before heading back to, uh, two or three days before heading back to Canada. Mm, mm, mm. I do not like the skin on. I don't like the skin on. I forgot to get one of those big, uh, I'm going to call it a platter because it's, it's bigger than, it's much bigger than a standard plate size that Ella and Eddie sent me. I'm not even going to season this side of the um, fish, the skin side, because I'm not eating that. Not even eating that. Oh my goodness, that was too funny. I think I'm gonna put the rest of this cauliflower in one of these bags here. Cause cauliflower I think draws water. Put the rest in here. This will take up less less room. Where my napkins? Where my paper towels? Ah. I need my new setup. I won't have to do all this fidgeting. See, it takes, it's much harder for me to see whether or not this fish is done in the middle. I think it is. Oh, I gotta get one more thing. Woo, one more thing. <clears throat> Woo, there's curry gold, garlic and butter. Got why I keep saying garlic and butter. Garlic and herb. Oh, this is so good. Right, where's my fork? Where is my fork? Oh, I see it. There we go. I think this fish is done.
One more little thing on there. If I can find it. Let's do some, a couple squirts of uh, lemon juice. And you know what? Before I take this out, I'm trying to hurry it up. Look at that, y'all. Woo, look at the way that looks. Oh my goodness. Put that in there. Put that on there. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, yes. Woo, this is going to be so good. Let me get this fish out of here if I overcook it, which I probably already did. Look how that looks. Oh my gravy. Look at that. Now, now, now. Let's get this cauliflower in here. Along with this rice. My trash. Ooh, that butter smells so good. We're gonna put some more butter in here. Yes, indeedy. This butter is so good. All right, let's get it going on. Oh, this smells good. Wowzer. I be making some good meals, whether they turn out right or not. A little fried rice. And that's it. Look at that. This is looking good. Now I just gotta wait till everything heats up. Mm, I see that butter mixture in there. Lord, Lord, Lord. Gonna be good, 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 good. Gonna be good, 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 good. Somebody asked me why don't I taste my food while I'm cooking it and I told them that it would take away the the end surprise of it you know if I'm tasting and cooking as I'm cooking I'm already knowing that it's becoming a wowzer so <clears throat> excuse me 
I already know it's becoming a wowzer, so I'd rather just go ahead and season by ear. <laughs> season by ear. <laughs> you know what I mean. Season it by eye. And then taste it at the end. That's off. That's off. Unplug that. Now we're gonna put some of this delicious meal right on here. Woo. I'm dropping it all over the place. Lord Anthony. You're making a mess. You're making a mess. This is gonna be so good. I already know. I already know. Yes, I know I need a bigger plate. Oh my goodness. Got a little bit more left in there. I don't have nothing in here cold to drink. I'm gonna take this hat off. Cause I'm sweating. Cause I'm sweating. Oh boy. All right. I'm ready to have at it. Look at that. Look at that. I had to make a quick thumbnail. But let's get into this. I can smell the garlic and herbs. I can smell it. Oh. Mmm. Wowza. That was nice and uh, moist and tender. Wowzer, I did a good job for once with this salmon. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm telling y'all. <clears throat> Next time you go to the grocery store, pick up some of that Ben's <laughs> garlic and butter rice. Check and see if your grocery store have that Kurgan's garlic and herb butter. That butter makes, wow. It takes, it takes rice to the next level. I'm not even joking. It takes rice to the next level. Mmm. I can eat a bowl of this rice almost every day. I can put some shrimp in it one day, like I have here, some cauliflower, broccoli. Mmm. This is really good. Maybe the salmon with the skin on is better for me. I don't know. Because this salmon is moist. And maybe that skin is a barrier so that you don't overcook it. You don't know. You never know. Mmm.
Cauliflower reminds me of broccoli. Mm. All right, guys. That's enough for today's video. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.